Rudolph the red nosed reindeer had a very shiny- Stop! What the heck, Stacy? <laughs> Girl, look up! I just saved your life! They banned Christmas music! This is ridiculous. I was just starting to get into the Christmas spirit. Who is that? It's Mr. Smith. He's singing Jingle Bells. He has his AirPods in. Mr. Smith, stop! One horse open. No. Sweetheart, you got to smile. It's picture day. Come on. I don't feel like smiling. Well, you know what? At least take this brush and comb your hair a little before I take your picture, okay? Uh-oh. Not today. Ew! You got me right in the Sorry. eye! Hey, babe, what are you doing? Well, brushes are banned, so I figured I would try a fork. <laughs> what are you, the little mermaid? We have to break we up. We need to break up. No more Mr. Smith, no more boyfriend, but at least I still have you. Oh, no, they don't. Anyone with a dog has to hand it over to me. We have to hide you. Ashley, you realize if you don't get to a thousand likes by the end of the year, you're not meeting your soulmate. Yes, I'm well aware of that. Thank you. She doesn't need a soulmate to be happy anyways. You guys are literally so pathetic. <laughs> hey, Ashley, do you think I could take a picture of your notes real quick? Uh, yeah, for sure. Here. Sweet. Thanks. Let me give you a like. Thank you. <laughs> ha, she thought. <laughs> Just ignore them. How can I? I mean, at least you have 20 likes. I have two. And one of them's from you, and the other one's from my mom. Just face it, Chase, nobody likes me. I'm never gonna find my soulmate. I wouldn't be so sure about that. Um, who are you? My name is Lindsay, and I'm here to make you the most liked girl in school. Here it goes. Hey, you feeling all right? Not really. Hold on to me. I'm gonna take you to the hospital. We were able to restore her likes, and we gave her a few extra ones, too. Hey, you're up. Chase? Where's Lindsay? Don't worry. She's been arrested. Where's my mom? She's on her way. Oh, and, uh, here. The cops found it on Lindsay. Thanks. Listen, Chase, I'm so sorry for the things that I said to you. You were right about Dylan. I don't know why I ever thought that he would like me. Hey, that was his loss. Any guy would be lucky to have you. Speaking of which, now you can meet your soulmate. We're soulmates, huh? Ash, I've been waiting to do this for a long time. You want to make me the most liked girl in school? Yep, that's right. Why? Well, in all honesty, honey, your mom sent me. She did? Yeah, she's kind of worried about your social life. But don't worry, I'm going to take care of everything. So, if we take a look at this score sheet, you can see that you and your friend currently rank, um, at the very bottom. Social outcast? Yes, I'm afraid so. But don't worry, that's what I'm here for. Yeah, we're gonna need to start with a full makeover. She's fine the way she is. Mm-hmm, says the social outcast. Hey, that's not very- We're wasting time. Follow me. Okay, it's time to make you look irresistible. She's all done. Whoa, you look, uh, gorgeous. Yeah. Thanks. Love your outfit. Whoa, looks like somebody's got their fourth like. Time for the next step. We can only get likes in person, so we gotta go somewhere crowded. Um, I mean, we could go to the mall. Yes, great idea. Ashley, smile. If you want likes, you gotta be friendly. Go say hi. Uh, hi, I like your outfit. Thanks, I like yours too. Oh, hey, buddy. Um, I think you might have dropped this. Thank you. Mommy, look what she found. Oh, my gosh. Here, take a like. Oh, thank you. And just like that, she's up to 25 likes. Whoa, Ash. You uh, got more likes than me now. Oh, this is nothing. You need to be going out all the time, okay? Try to get invited to a party. Hey, Dylan. Um, are you throwing a party this weekend? Uh-huh. You want to come? Can I? Yeah, I mean, the party's for 25 likes and up, so you're good. Can Chase come too? No way! No social rejects allowed. Oh, and wear something red. That's the theme. Chase, I don't feel right going to this party without you. It's fine. Just go. Can't you just get five more likes and then we can go together? Nah, you'll probably have more fun without me anyways. That's not true. But maybe you'll change your mind later. Cute dress, Ashley. Thanks. I like your dress. Thanks, Dylan, but why isn't anyone else wearing red? I thought that was the theme. Ah, uh, yeah, I kind of lied. I just wanted to see you in red. Okay. 
Ash, look, it's because I have a crush on you. Really? Yeah. Well, why haven't you ever said anything before? I figured you and Chase were a thing. What? Oh, no. Um, me and him, we're just, we're just friends. <laughs> uh-huh. Well, then, in that case, come with me. Okay. Finally, we're alone. But don't you want to go party? No. I just want to be right next to you. You definitely deserve a like. I am so proud of you. Hooking up with the captain of the football team? <sighs> Listen, we're not official just yet. Uh-huh. You guys kissed, right? Yeah. Well, then you might as well be official. Oh, it sounds like Chase is a little jealous. I'm not jealous. I just don't trust that guy. <laughs> Whatever you say. Hey, we still on for movie night? Oh, actually, Dylan's taking me to see a movie. But we always do movie night on Friday. It's like our tradition. Traditions change, bro. Hey, babe. Hey. She's got a boyfriend now, dude. It's time for you to move on. Right. Guess I'll see you later, Ash. Hey, Ashley. Whoa, did you just give me a like? Uh, yeah, you look so cute. But don't you hate me? Ashley, that was before you had so many likes. You're one of us now. We're almost at a thousand likes. Yeah, because you've had me going out to crowded places every day for a month now. Can't I take a break? No, your mom's coming back soon. Don't you want to surprise her with your soulmate? Yeah, I guess. I have a good feeling it's going to be Dylan. I feel really bad for Chase. I barely even talk to him anymore. He's a social reject. Please don't call him that. Forget about Chase, Ashley. We need to focus on your likes. Now come on, we're going to the mall again. Ash, what are you doing here? I wanted to see you. Where's Dylan? He's at practice. Wait a minute, let me see that hat. Did you get a haircut and shave a little bit? Uh, yeah. I just figured it was time for a change. Well, you look, um, you look really nice. Thanks. Listen, Ash, there's something I've been meaning to tell you. I... Oh, it's Dylan who needs my help. Ash, I don't think Dylan is a good guy for you. Excuse me? Dylan is using you. He doesn't care about you. Oh my gosh. Lindsay was right. You are jealous. Would you stop being so conceited and just listen to me? Just because you have over 900 likes doesn't mean everybody likes you. I'm just trying to watch out for you. Well, stop it. Because I don't need you to. You don't know what's best for me. Oh, and Lindsay does, huh? Yeah. Look how many likes she got me. I don't give a shit about your likes, Ash, or your fake friends. Well, at least I have friends. Do whatever you want. I'm done. <laughs> Well, then I guess I'll take my life back, too. Dylan? Oh, my gosh, babe. Our plan is working out so good. Yeah, being your fake boyfriend got me so many likes, so you two were using me. <gasps> Ash, listen, I... Save it. We're over. Mom, it's me. I know you sent Lindsay to help me, but I don't care about my likes anymore. Honey, what are you talking about? I don't know anyone named Lindsay. Wait, what do you mean you don't know Lindsay? I didn't send her. Honey, I'm about to go into my meeting. No, Mom. Hey, did you lose likes? Yeah, from Dylan, Chase, and Pepper. Uh, why are you looking at me like that? Because I want to know who you are. What do you mean? I talked to my mom, and she said she didn't send you. Damn it! You weren't supposed to find out yet. Ugh, I guess I might as well come clean. I'm here to steal your likes. What? Mm-hmm. You see, I found a way to hack the system. I steal people's likes, and then I sell them. And you know, most people don't even make it to 1,000, so you really impressed me, Ashley. I'm calling the cops. Put that down. Okay. Stop moving and sit still. System activated. This is going to be fun. <laughs> Yes, it's working. How are you even doing this? I just connect my technology to the like chip in the back of your neck and voila. Isn't it wonderful? Ugh. Ugh, this is taking forever. Please stop. I don't feel good. Mm, that's probably a side effect from the machine. What happens when I hit zero? You'll become a permanent social reject and there's a small chance that you could die. What? Yeah, that's what happened to the last person. Ash? Please? Yeah, what the hell's going on? I'm stealing her likes, and while I'm at it, maybe I'll steal yours too. I knew you were a little fake. 
You let her go right now. Hmm, no thanks. I mean, what are you gonna do, you pathetic little piece of- Ugh. You were saying? Ash, if I unplug this machine, you could lose all your likes permanently. I don't care. Just unplug it. She said if I hit zero, I could die. Um, I can't do this anymore. I'm only 16. I, I can't handle her by myself. I have to put her up for adoption. Coming. Hi, my name is Emily. I was wondering if you wanted to buy some chocolate. Aren't you a little young to be selling stuff by yourself? Where's your mom? I, I ran away from my foster mommy. <sighs> you ran away? Oh, she's probably looking for you. Okay, here, um, come inside. All right, well, I think I'd better call the police. What are you looking at? That little freckle you have right there. My daughter had the same one on her face. Oh my gosh, I think you might be my kid. You're my real mommy? You know what, I shouldn't have said that out loud. I don't know that for sure, but- Please, don't make me go back to my foster mom. She's really mean. Please don't bring me back to my foster mom. Sweetheart, I- Hi, I'm looking for a little girl. She has brown hair and brown eyes, and- Please, don't let her take me. Oh my gosh, Emily. <sighs> I'm sorry, she runs off a lot. Oh, does she? Well, she came to my house trying to sell me some chocolates. She, she makes me sell them. Oh boy, here we go again with the stories. I'm so sorry. But, but, Emily, do you want to time out? <gasps> no, no, please. Then tell her you're sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. All right, Emily, it's time to go. Tell her, tell her that you're my real mommy. I... Emily, we're leaving. Come visit me. My address is 2122 Maplewood. No, wait. I found her house. You know, I think she is my daughter. And I think I want her back. I am so sorry to bother you. And this is going to sound kind of crazy, but I think that Emily um, might be my daughter. And why do you think that? Well, about five years ago, I gave my daughter up for adoption. And how old is Emily? She's five. I see. And it's not just that. She also has a freckle in the same spot that my daughter had one. So you think that she's your daughter because of a freckle on <sighs> her face? Well, when you put it like that, it sounds... Look, I don't have time for this. No, please wait. I, I'm i just asking for a DNA test. I don't have the funds for that. Oh, no. I would cover all of the expenses. And if she is your daughter, do you plan on taking her back? Well, yes, I do. And what if she isn't? Then I guess I would have to leave her with you then. <sighs> Fine. I'll allow it. She did great, and we should have the results in 48 hours. Hi, is this Miss Monroe? I'm calling from the doctor's office regarding your DNA test. Wow, that was fast, and yes it is. So, according to our test, it looks like Emily is not your biological child. Are you... are you sure? Yes, ma'am. I'm so sorry. I hate to be the bearer of bad news. No, it's... it's okay. So what'd they say? Emily, I just want to tell you that I think that you're a great kid. And I am so sorry for getting your hopes up. What do you mean? Oh, I knew it. You're not a biological mother, are you? Are you? No, I'm not. No, please don't leave me here. You are my mommy. I know it. I hope you're happy with yourself. Hello? Hi, is this Miss Monroe? We're calling regarding your DNA test. Yes, it is, but you guys have already called me. No, ma'am, I think you're mistaken. We just got your results in a few hours ago. What? And it does look like Emily is your biological child. <laughs> Emily, it's me. Is anyone home? <sighs> this is ridiculous. Where are they? <sighs> that look like Emily in the back seat. <sighs> Where is she taking her? No, listen to me. You don't understand. I am telling you that she is in danger. Again, ma'am, you don't know that for sure, and we can't do anything until she's been missing for a total of 24 hours. You know, if they're not going to help me, I'm going to find her myself. Hi, excuse me. Um, have you seen a little girl that looks like this? No, I have not. I'm sorry. It's all right. It's the foster mom. But where is Emily? Hey. Oh, you scared me. Good. Now where's my daughter? Good lord. Didn't we just establish that she's not your daughter? She is my daughter, and I think you and I both know that. You had someone send a fake phone call to me, didn't you? <laughs> you can't prove anything. 
Where is she? She's with a new foster family now. What? You gave her to a new family? She was too much for me to handle. I had to transfer her. Where? No, no. That is confidential information. You better tell me right now or I'll... Don't you dare threaten me. You're the one who gave her up in the first place. So if you want to be mad at anyone, why didn't you go look in the mirror? Why would she fake that phone call if she wanted to get rid of Emily anyways? Wait. Well, she came to my house trying to sell me some chocolates. She... she makes me sell them. I don't think that she gave her up. I think she wants to keep her and use her to make money. Let go of me. Emily, that is enough. It's time for bed. I want my real mom. She's gone. No, let go. Open up, ma'am. This is the police. The child is not on the bottom floor. Shh, guys, I heard something. Emily! Emily! Get her to room 203. Ma'am, you cannot be in here. Please, I, I just want to know what's wrong with her. She's very dehydrated. Do you know how long she was in that closet for? No, I, I don't. This is all my fault. I should have cut to her sooner. Excuse me. Your daughter is awake now. You can come and see her. Mommy? Hi, sweetheart. <laughs> what's wrong? I thought you loved me. <laughs> Emily, I promise you, I am never going to leave you again, okay? No, my foster mom's going to come back. Hey, hey, it's okay. Listen, your foster mom is not coming back. I'm going to take care of you from now on. I promise? I promise. Now, you get some rest, okay, honey? Okay. Excuse me, Miss Monroe, there's a Daniel Knight here to see you. What? Mm-hmm, he's claiming to be the father of Emily. Daniel? Hey, how is she? How did you know we were here? Are you kidding? You and her are all over the news. How is she? Let me go see her. Whoa, whoa. Hang on a second. You took off the day that she was born because you didn't realize how difficult raising a kid would be. Look, I, I was 16, okay? So was I. And you left me alone with her. You know, if you didn't leave, I probably wouldn't have given her up in the first place. Oh, so you're saying this is all my fault? No, that's not what I'm saying. I just don't think right now is a good time for you to see her. She's been through enough shock. Please, Allie. No, you don't get to do that. You don't get to just walk back in here and start being her parent again. Isn't that what you did? <sighs> no, that was different. How? Face it, we're in the same boat here. We both made mistakes. You had a chance to fix yours. Now it's my turn. The doctor said she's going to be okay. She just needs to sleep. Wow, she's... She's beautiful. She definitely got her looks from you. My soulmate picks my hair or my job for the day. I'm pretty particular with how I like my hair, so I think I'm going to go with job. Please pick me an easy job. Movie star. What the? Okay, I didn't exactly expect him to pick this job for me, and I'm not going to school dressed like this. Why isn't this coming off? You may not remove work outfit. Yeah, I should have picked the hair option. Hey guys. Oh my gosh. No way. Look, before you laugh, I know this outfit's a lot. I'm like your number one fan. Uh, you're definitely not. I am. Whoa. <laughs> Can you sign this for me? No, no me. me. Okay, let's all just calm down. <laughs> oh shit. Talking about things. I think I lost him. Excuse me, can, can you sign this for me? Oh, of course, sweetheart. What do you want me to say? Can you write the alphabet? But can you do it in Spanish? Oh, I don't really know how to do that, but I can sign my name. No, that's not what I wanted. No, 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 please don't cry. Look, there's my autograph. No, I don't want it. Hey, look, this movie star is making this kid cry. No, 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 she just wanted me to write this just in. Big time movie star makes little girl no, cry. No, I didn't. <laughs> okay, cut, that's a wrap. Guess we get to go home now. Thank God. Hey, question. I picked for my soulmate to pick my occupation for the day, but I kind of want that to stop happening. Oh, you have to meet your soulmate to make that stop. But I don't even know what his name is or where he lives. Uh-huh. Sounds like a you problem. Looks like we're doing this again. May. Oh, no, he did it. May. Oh, no, he did it. I better not be wearing what I think I'm wearing. <gasps> oh, he is so dead. Honey, mom, oh, thank goodness you're home. Look at what my soulmate, Shh, enough chit chat, honey. Here, your room needs dusting. What? You heard me. I don't pay you to sit around. But mom. Uh-uh, get to work. But I have to go to school. 
School can wait. You've got dust to clean. Who does he think he is? Turning me into Cinderella? I swear, when I find him, I'm gonna- May not remove job uniform. Yes, I know. I wasn't trying to remove it. It's just itching me. Principal Peters, hi. Uh, listen, about my outfit, I know it's against dress code, but- There you are. The bathrooms need sweeping. But I'm supposed to get to class. Forget about class. You get to cleaning that bathroom. Yes, sir. Aw, oh, poor baby has to- Ow! Whoops. I'm telling my mom. I am so over being a maid. If he does not give me a better job, I will hunt him down and- Lion Tamer. Lion Tamer. No, no. What on earth has he done to me? Honey, there's some people at the door that want to talk to you. Who exactly? Because if it's someone with a lion, tell them I'm not here. Honey, they're waiting. Come on. But mom! There you are. You're late. Late for what, exactly? Your show with the lion. Oh, you see, I would, but I hurt my shoulder so bad the other day. Oh, it's just awful. So I better go rest it. You were holding the other shoulder before? Both, both shoulders got hurt. Yeah, right. Come on. Let's get out of here. All right, we're here. Let me just tell you that there has been a little mistake. I am not the right person for this. Relax, and don't forget this. <laughs> Was that him? It's a her, actually. I'll go grab her for you. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Come on, you got this. You can do this. Okay, bring her in. Okay, here she is. Why didn't you tell me the lion was a puppy? We like to scare our new workers. You should have seen your face. She's so cute. Yes, she is. Okay, I'll admit, this occupation was a lot more fun than I thought it was going to be. Maybe for the next job, though, I can get something a little less out there. Chef. A chef? At least that's a little bit more normal. Congrats! You've been selected to be on our cooking show. Huh? Let's go. Take this spatula and we're live in five. You guys don't understand. I'm not actually a real chef. This outfit is not even mine. Uh-huh. May not remove uniform. Each of you will be paired with a celebrity that you must cook a meal for. Contestant number one, you've been paired with Tom Holland. No way! Hey, everyone. Okay, who did I get? You've been paired with a new upcoming actor. Meet Zack Starman. You seem a bit disappointed. No, it's just that I never really heard of you before, and I thought we were doing A-list celebrities, so... Oh! You don't think I'm good enough to be here? No, no, I... You don't want to upset your celebrity guest, as they will be judging your food. Looks like Tom Holland loved contestant number one's dish. For my dish I made for my celebrity guest is a Rice Krispie Treat with some M&Ms on top. I hope that, that you will like it. Bon appetit! Hmm. Needs more salt. But it's a Rice Krispie Treat. It's not supposed to be salty. Sorry, love, but I'm gonna give it a 6 out of 10. Well, with that score, that means contestant number one is the winner! I just won 500k! You know, joke is on you guys, because that was a store-bought Rice Krispie. I don't even care about this competition anymore. Hey, you're right. I'm just kind of getting tired of all these crazy jobs that my soulmate's giving me. Oh, well, here's my number, if you ever want to talk. My mom is going to be so mad I didn't win that money. Wait a minute, I just took my hat off. But I could only do that if... Soulmate found. You figured it out, didn't you? Mm-hmm. And you've got some explaining to do. Can I explain over a date? As long as I don't have to cook. <laughs> Deal. Come on, give me an X. Oh, no, no, no. I cannot be a hider. My whole family are seekers. Concealer, please don't fail me now. Okay, let's see your mark. <gasps> yes, I knew Our it. Our girl is a seeker. Now we can finally tell you how the game works. So, of course, there's hiders and there's seekers, but everyone wants to be a seeker. The hiders are given a certain amount of time to hide, and then we get to go find them. When you find the hiders, do you... No, honey. <sighs> okay. We knock them out, and then we trade them in for money. What? If you turn in a family member that's a hider, you get a million. Well, I mean, that's kind of stupid because family members, they are worth a lot more than money, right? I'd turn your butt in in five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Honey. What? You're sweating. No. You okay? Um, no, I actually think that I might be bleeding, so I'm going to go wash my face. I'll be right back. Oh, shit. I knew it. The makeup came off. What the? Ellie. No. You're a hider. I can explain. You little liar. I'm telling mom and dad. 
Kim's a hider. What? What? She faked her mark. I'm sorry. Why would you do that? Because I, I was scared. Attention, the game has begun. All hiders now have two hours to find a hiding spot. Go hide. No, you have to. Just don't let us find you. But hide now, damn it. Get out of here, this is my spot. I don't know where to hide. All the flights are booked and all the buses are filled. What am I going to do? Shh, listen, you're about to get caught. Hey, I said you're about to get caught. Come on, let's go. You're a seeker. You're trying to trick me. This mark is fake. If I were a real seeker, you'd be knocked out by now. Just play along. What? Shh, don't say anything. Well, well, what do we have here? You caught a hider, huh? Yeah, she was a hard one to find, but I finally caught her. We were just leaving, actually. Nah, she's not going anywhere. Don't touch her. Um, are hiders allowed to fight back? No, not really. Run! Oh, shit. Quick, in there! Whoa, wait, what is that? An underground tunnel I made. Now, come on! I am not going down there. I don't even know if I can really trust you. I've gotten you this far, haven't I? We have to go now. We'll be safe down here. Why are you helping me? Because. Who gave you that necklace? My sister. Get rid of that necklace. Your sister is tracking you. No, she... she wouldn't. Oh, yes, she would. We need to keep moving. No. Excuse me? Yeah, I want to know why you came out of nowhere like, like some ninja and saved me, but you don't even know me. It's because you remind me of my sister who got traded in by my family. They traded in your sister for a million dollars? Yeah, and from then on, I've been trying to protect all the hiders I can. What was that? They found my tunnel. I'll distract them. You run. No, I'm not going to leave you. Yes, you are. I'm not losing another girl on my watch. Now go. <laughs> Ellie, found you. You're it. Oh. Sorry, sis. That necklace led me right to you. Time to get my million. Nighty night, Kim. Time to get my money. Where am I? And what am I wearing? We're in Hyder Prison, and that's our uniform. They think we're related. Really? I mean, we do kind of look alike, I guess. You remind me of my sister, who got traded in by my family. Do you have a brother that's a Hyder? Yeah, why? Because I think I know him. He tried to save me, but my sister turned me in. He is so worried about you. There has to be some way out of here. After you get caught, you have the option to end the game, but if you do, you die. Someone has to sacrifice themselves to save everyone else. That's why no one ends the game. I'll do it. My whole family turned against me, so I really have nothing, and you deserve to be with your brother. No. Want to end the game? It'll be okay. No, please. Congratulations, your bravery has made you leader. Our marks are gone. You pick the next game. Okay, what do you choose? Uh, I choose snow, because I want to be just like mommy. Aw, good choice, honey. Don't you worry. I'll teach you how to use your powers. Mom, please don't leave me. Take this, honey, so that a part of me will always be with you. Alicia, meet your new stepmom, Greta. What a pleasure it is to meet- Ah! My hand! I'm so sorry. I- I didn't mean to. My hand! It's blue! Go to your room. Is she going to be okay? She has frostbite, but it's mild. Are those the gloves I gave you? Good. Keep them on until you can get your powers under control. Darling, she could have killed me. I am so sorry. Her powers, they've been going haywire ever since her mother passed. Well, she is a danger to all of us. She should be locked in that room. No, I couldn't do that to her. Don't you care about me? Greta, of course I do. Then it's settled. She won't ever leave that room. Here's your breakfast, princess. Aw, oh, thank you. <gasps> You took off your gloves? Uh, yeah, just for a second, though. Oh my gosh. Uh, stay back. I'm gonna leave the food right here. Wait! Hey, Alicia, can I come in? I don't know. Can you? Because it doesn't seem like anyone else is allowed in here. I'm sorry, but I can't have you hurting people with your powers. I won't. I can control them now. Okay, then. Make a single snowflake. Just one? Uh-huh. Like how your mother used to. See? It's all right. You can't do it. 
But I can learn. I know you will. But until then, you have to stay in here. Dad, please. Put your gloves back on, all right? I'll be back to check on you later. If no one's even allowed near me, what's the point of wearing these anyways? I have to get out of here. Here's your lunch, princess. Hey! Guards, stop her! She froze my feet to the floor. Put your gloves back on, princess. So you guys can keep me locked in here? I don't think so. Hey! Stop her! I made it. I'm... I'm free. But where will I go? Mom always said that I could create anything that I imagined, so why don't I just make a place for myself to live? Stop it. You got this. It's working. Whoa, I can't believe I made this place. I mean, it's not exactly perfect, but it'll do. I just feel like I'm gonna get a little bit lonely in here, so maybe I can make myself some sort of a pet. I've always wanted a dog. Oh, I think I'll call you Snowball. Well, well. Greta, what are you doing here? I'm here to bring you home. This is my home now. I think it's time I showed you my little secret. You have powers? Yes, I was a princess after all. Guess which one I chose? Why don't I just show you? You have fire powers? Mm-hmm. And I'm impressed with this place, but I think it could use a little remodeling. Stop! You're melting it! <laughs> exactly. Snowball, run! <laughs> Guards, get her. Yes, your majesty. Stay back. I'm... I'm warning you. Come on, work. That's enough. Let's go. Uh, Sit down. Sorry for the restraints, Alicia, but your powers are just out of control. I want to speak to my dad. Oh, Alicia, I'm so sorry. Who wants to break her the news? What happened was all your fault, really. What are you talking about? Well, you see, dear, after you ran away, your father went to go looking for you. I begged him not to, but he wouldn't listen. He hasn't returned since. What? Yes, and I guess with him gone... I'm your guardian now. No, you have to send guards out to go looking for him. No one could survive in that snowstorm, Alicia. And to think this all happened because you ran away. The king is gone because of you. Take her to the dungeon. What if he's still out there, probably freezing to death? Oh, if I could just get my hands out of these things. Oh, it's no use. I'm never going to get out of here. Focus. 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 Who said that? You know who I am. Mom, please don't leave me. Take this, honey, so that a part of me will always be with you. The necklace, it, it must be magic. Mom, please, tell me how to get out of here.